Next to a problem on Lake Victoria, the largest freshwater lake on the continent. It's being invaded by the water hyacinth weed, which is paralyzing fishing activities and lake transport. Now, the lake is a lifeline for Ugandans, Tanzanians and Kenyans living on its shores and efforts to clear the weed have not been successful so far. However, a high school teacher has seen an opportunity. The BBC's Masajuma sent this report from Lake Victoria. Along the shores of Lake Victoria in Dunga Beach, Kisumu, green plants gently float on the surface of the water, adding color to the otherwise still waters. But that is where the beauty ends. This is water hyacinth, which the Kenya Marine Institute estimates has covered about 10,000 hectares of Lake Victoria. From where I am standing, I can see miles and miles of water hyacinth stretching beyond the horizon. These stalled boats are a perfect representation of how this weed has disrupted livelihoods in a region where fishing is the main economic activity. These young men pack the hyacinth in gunny bags and transport it to Yala town just outside Kisumu. They bring the harvested hyacinth here to the home of a Kenyan high school teacher who identified a business opportunity where many see an invasive aquatic nuisance. From his homestead, he converts the hyacinth to bioethanol fuel. It is our pride that we have solved two problems that are the energy poverty in household and also we are solving the problem of water hyacinth in Lake Victoria. But uh, we have a challenge that we cannot meet the demand because of the expensive apparatus and equipment that we need here. So we cannot supply the fuel to our retailers and consumers consistently. Actually, we are working under a lot of pressure. With the ban on logging in public forests in Kenya, prices of charcoal have more than doubled in the last few months. High taxation on petroleum products has also meant that kerosene prices have skyrocketed. Arwa's bioethanol fuel has proved a good alternative source of clean, affordable and accessible energy. As you can see, it's very clean. It doesn't have any soot, any smell. Yes, it can't affect any children. It's very cheap compared to charcoal and kerosene. Then this half liter, I can use it for two days, depending on what I want to cook. A half liter bottle of this fuel costs less than half a dollar. Arwa's initiative is a small step in the right direction, but this can only deal with a tiny part of the hyacinth, a plant which the government of Kenya has spent millions of dollars trying to clear unsuccessfully. Until this project is scaled up dramatically, the economy of this region will continue to be chalked up. Masijuma, BBC News, Kisumu.